Greetings to each of you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And distinguished leaders, members of the faculties of the various colleges represented here, those of you who are students, it is such an honor and privilege for me to address you this evening, to be here with you. When I travel in other countries and meet with Christian leaders and students, I'm always amazed that in the Christian community we can come from many different places, from many different cultures, from many different languages, and immediately we share something in common. We serve a common Lord, and we gather around a common book. We may read it through different lenses, but reading it through different lenses also enriches our understandings and our lives. What I want to do this evening with you is I want to talk with you about peacemaking the Jesus way. And I read it through my North American lens. And I trust you will translate it to your Indian lens. And hopefully we can have some conversation at the end in terms of what these respective lens might be. I think uh, copies of the lecture have been distributed. I trust all of you have a copy. I trust my American English is somewhat understandable. So the lecture that you have uh, will help perhaps, and we will read through the lecture, and then we can have a conversation. So beginning, I note that in the middle of the 20th century, Mahatma Gandhi of your country greatly influenced a young Baptist pastor of my country. His name was Martin Luther King Jr. This young pastor emerged as the leader of what we know as the American Civil Rights Movement of the 1950s and 1960s. It was that movement that sought greater freedoms for African Americans who in earlier American history had been forced to come to my country as slaves. In describing what he called his pilgrimage to nonviolence, King confessed that in earlier life he had thought that Jesus' teaching about, and I quote, the turn the other cheek and the love your enemies philosophies were valid only when individuals are in conflict with other individuals, when racial groups and nations are in conflict, a more realistic approach is necessary. But then he reports, I was introduced to the life and teachings of Mahatma Gandhi. And then in a succinct statement of his approach to change, he observed, Christ furnished the spirit and motivation while Gandhi furnished the method. 